glad to be in God's house this morning. Amen. 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 Let's all stand to our feet this morning. We're going to fellowship those who would like to gather around and offer a good Lord prayer. We're going to start with number 174 in Redville this morning. Number 174. There's a
Because Jesus found you worth dying for. Yeah. Right. You're not worthless. How do you know? Because Jesus found you worth saving. Amen. You left that one. Amen. <laughs> you ought to be glad you're born again. Amen. I praise God for it. Good to have folks in the house. Uh, got Brother Logan, Miss Robin, with us today. I love these folks. These are some of my heroes. Love the death. I've known Logan uh, probably since he was how old are you? I've known him since he was 11. And uh, he's still so cute. <laughs> him and, him and Miss Robin got married not too long ago. And uh, Logan was here at Preach for us, if you remember, last year. Uh, he preached, first time preaching here, and I told him, I said, now Logan, I said, don't you come out and skin us. And lo and behold, we got preached, uh, are your sins covered under the blood or are they just covered up? Well, that's good. <laughs> and then he went down to Josh Dean's and preached on there being grace in the valley. And I said, I don't know what that is. <laughs> but I'm glad they're here. I'm glad Robin's here. Just thrilled. Uh, they were in Louisville last night. when we come up and pay us a visit today. Glad they're here. This isn't their last time being here. They'll, they'll be here again with us uh, very shortly. I'm thrilled they're here today. Thrilled you're here. Give you this just a thought. And we've got loads of prayer requests. Please pray much for... Uh, Brother Wayland's family is needful. Pray much for Miss Liz. It's so needful. Pray for Miss Brittany. She's got a test coming up this week. Uh, and God willing, I'm saying this one is on the heart. Two, I want you to remind me. Uh, I want to have a special prayer today before we leave. If that'd be fine with you. Uh, Brother Wayland's parents uh, going through so much so often. And not just praying for them, but praying for Wayland and Jessica. Uh, and also, want to want to pray over Miss Brittany today too. She's got a test coming up, uh, so we need to be faithful to do that. Happy to have Jason and Melissa here with us today for freedom. Um, I was thinking today before we pray, and I'm excited for worship. So excited! He's a God that's worthy. He is. You're you, you're a blessing, and you ought to give your blessing to Jesus Christ. Uh, I was thinking about Ruth this morning, and uh, her tears and her sorrows were dried up as soon as she married Boaz. But can I remind you, if Ruth hadn't have met her husband in Moab, she'd never met Boaz. If she'd never tasted sorrow, she wouldn't have known what joy Boaz could bring. And can I say this? I know that we've been some rough places and we've messed up and we've been through heartbreak and we've been through tragedy. But can I say this to you? You can shout all you want about where you're at now. But boy, if you want to help you shout out, look at what God's brought you from. You there? I mean, I don't know about anybody else, but I can remember times that I was away from God and He brought me in. I can remember times that I was wrong and the forgiveness of God came to me. I can remember being so low. I, I, I can I can relate with David. I, I made my bed my bed in hell, and, and even in that hell, that sorrow, that misery that I was in, I still found the hand of God. Right. It was almost like no. Hey, help me! It was almost like no matter where I've been, what I went through, I've still found Jesus. Right. That's Him. And here we can shout because prayers are answered. Here we can shout. I was talking with Miss Renee about meeting her birth family. Chase, you're getting loud. I don't know. Wait a minute. I was talking with Miss Renee about meeting birth families and what a hallelujah that is. And there's some of us that's got that in common in the church. Thank God. But can I say this? Man, one day, one day, I'm talking to all of us. Can you remember praying for the things you rejoice about today? And if you're the part that's praying, I want to give you just a faith notice if it's fine with you. One day you'll rejoice over what you're praying for today. We're on the quiet side, but it's all right. I thank God that He's God. Hey, I'll even shout over this one. I thank God He's God and I'm not. I thank God He never changes. What a hallelujah. Good to be here this morning. Anybody got a prayer request on your heart?
Judge Forster today. How many of you glad you've been found this morning? Amen. Thank God he called out to me one day when it's a little boy knocked on my heart's door. I opened up that door and I accepted him as my personal Savior. It's hard to remember back that far. I'm getting a lot older now. But I can still say, I'm glad you found me. Amen.
you feel you want to ask you. Yeah. Getting better all the time, ain't it? Yeah. I believe that this morning. Let's do it again.
every week for the past couple of months. Because I felt such a huge, a huge disconnect from me and God. It's been impacting my life so much. And I've been praying about it.
this, and I mean this well, sent out one call. Uh, I can speak from my heart. Everything that happens from the time I walk in the door of the church until the time I walk out, I've needed every last bit of it. Don't you agree? Amen. I do with all my heart. Uh, I appreciate this. This is wonderful. This is sweet. This is powerful. And it's not just the music and it's not just the words, but it's the power of God. Amen. Amen. I'm thankful, Apostle Paul said in Ephesians, I'm thankful he's made us sit together yeah. in heavenly places. I appreciate the Lord today. Robin, got a song? You're at home. I do pray for Robin today. I appreciate her coming. She's kind of from North Carolina, at Logan. Churches are different. They are our church, I believe, where she comes from, at least, is acapella. Um, but can I say this? It's the same God. Yeah, yeah. So you make Rob feel welcome. Well. Say this, come down and sit in the woods.
the approval of God, the stamp of God, and chasing after God, it's becoming few and far between. Right. And I, I want to say this. Here we are. Here we are in church. I want to say this to our church. I want to say this to Souls Barber. Uh, we are blessed. Amen. Well, there's about 60 of us here this morning. Now, been 60, even the babies should have said amen. amen. First word, dare speak. Amen. That's right. But I, I say this, we're blessed. Well, how do you know? Because we've got Jesus Christ. Because we've got the blessing of His, of his presence. Right. We're blessed that way. Yeah. There are churches this morning that uh, I'll never forget. Lord, please help me. Stay on course today. I pray. I went and preached the church. Had about 400 folks in it. I preached and God moved. And uh, folks came to the altar and got right. And I can tell they had changed a lot about the church. And uh, and I'm just going to say it the way Bob Bowe would. It's dead. Yeah. Satan's dead. Everything's dead. And, uh, there was there was a little blind man got up to play the piano and he started singing what a day that will be. He was only supposed to sing it once. He was scheduled. The whole service was printed out on a piece of paper and they handed it to you. Uh, well, Chase, that's a mark of a dead church right there. They've got it all written out. I always say this. We need to be careful about that because bless our sweethearts, we got it memorized. Amen. Uh, but I, I say this, the, the blind man was singing what a day that will be. And he got to the last chorus and he teared up and he said, I'm full. He said, I know I'm not supposed to sing it again, but he said, God just gave me a vision yeah. of the first day I see it with, with my eyes. He said, I've got to sing that last verse again. Yeah. And they, he sung it and I felt heaven step into the room and God moved that day. And there was an old man that met me at the door and I'm going somewhere and we'll preach and we'll be done. Just stay with me if you will. There was an old man met me at the door that day and he looked at me with tears streaming down his eyes and he said, Preacher, you don't know. I've been at this church for 50 years and I was here the day we voted Jesus out and I've been praying for him to come back ever since. He said, I'm now ready to go. Amen. Here we are. We're testifying. We're preaching the gospel. Uh, but I want to say this to you today, church. If, if we are declaring that we're one of the only ones left, but we're not right with God, we're not helping God, we're hurting God. Amen. Uh, I want to preach this morning. What if you're one of the only ones left? Uh, and we'll preach positive today. I don't want anybody to go dark on me. Uh, but I want to say this to you. Uh, if today was the last service that we would ever have, and, uh, the eastern clouds, the eastern sky, the clouds would roll back as a scroll and uh, we would look up and see Jesus get off of his throne as uh, the Father has looked at him and said, Son, go get my children. Go get your church. Go go get your adorned bride. I want to say this. I've enjoyed being here today. Yeah. I believe this. and I, I can remember the old saying used to say something like this. Live every day like it's your last day. I, will, I just don't believe that in life. I believe that in the church house. Amen. I, Lord, if this is my last worship, help it be my best worship. Lord, if this is my last chance to testify, help me testify about your goodness. Lord Jesus, if this is my last chance to get up behind the sacred desk and preach to the crowd, Jesus, that you gave your life for, help me preach the best that I can.
Jesus Christ. I remind you, my beloved friend, amen, I hate to keep giving you songs and saying your Bible, but can I let you know, all my hope is in Jesus. Amen. I thank God that my yesterday is gone. Yeah. <laughs> 
Mr. Day. Thanks, man. Everybody all right? Yeah. Oh, don't worry, I'm going to get to the good part here in a minute. They just mess those hypocrites, Mr. Jewell. They just mess those jealous beings. They just mess those, Miss Nancy. You know, that's for uh, people that are miserable Christians, people uh, that are backbiters, people that are backstabbers. Uh, there's enough pity party Christians. Hey, man, there's enough people. Hey, man, they've got that little bitty violin in their hand. And they want everybody to join in the chorus with them and sing, Paul.
Can I just give you some things I took to him and you can put your sin in the blank. You ready? I went to God before. Brother Ramey, and I've asked him to forgive me of having suicidal thoughts. I went to him and I've asked him to forgive me of, of pornography addictions. I've asked him to forgive me. Logan of getting in the pulpit and bashing people when I should have preached to people. I've asked God to forgive me because I was a preacher, Chris, and I didn't handle myself in the right way. I've asked God to forgive me because I wasn't the son that I needed to be to my parents. I've asked God to forgive me. Lord, I'm not the pastor that I need to be. Lord, I'm not being your servant. God, I'm sorry. But can I say this to anybody that's with me this morning? I don't think Hillary that 90% of us come to God and we say, God, forgive me just so we can mark it off our checklist. Can I preach to you where I believe we're at this morning? I believe there's a mess on people, Courtney. But come to God, truly seeking His forgiveness. But rob them, they're so guilty of the mess up that instead of living in His forgiveness, they continue to live in the guilt of their mess up. Can I say this to you? from God. You ask Him to forgive you of your temper. Guess what you ought to have a handle of when you get off the altar? Amen. God ought to have a handle on your temper. If you ask God to help you, keep your emotions in check. Keep your anxiety in check. When you get off the altar, you ought to have a God handle on what's out of control in your mind. If you come to God and say, God, I'm sorry for my lust. God, I need to be satisfied with what I Your boy scores a bucket. 
And Lord have mercy, you can think a mama announced the call of priest and saw the resurrection. <laughs> Gun rights get taken away and men get all hot and nasty. Biden starts getting in her wallet and they're going, hey, hey. But we've got an awesome God. And we don't have an amen. And we don't have a glory. And we don't have hands lifted in praise. And there's people that's been healed of cancer. And there's people that's been saved from car accidents. And there's there's people that should have died before they were even a year old. And there's some of you that are holding babies that you're not even supposed to. And there's people that you've been blessed with happiness when everybody told you you'd have misery. My friend, I'm telling you today, God ought not have to look around far and say, I wonder, Cindy, is anybody worshiping me? Is there anybody left that's truly thankful? Is there anybody left that's actually happy with me? But can I say this to you today? God, I go to church for y'all. I'm there. I don't feel good. I'm there. Stuff going on in my life. I'm there. You're reminding God of how faithful you are to Him. But can I let you know something? The more you remind God how faithful you are to Him, guess what you're forgetting? How faithful He is to you. The more you live, Hey, do you remember? Remember, we got one more left. Everybody good work. Do you remember the very first thing, Brittany? Jesus said, I'm going to look at these false people that will stand before me that never knew me in salvation, Jax. Never knew me in salvation. And they'll look at me, Kim, and they'll say this. Did we not do many work, many works in your name? Did we not cast out demons in your name? Did we not do many wonderful things? And Jesus said, I look at them, Wayland, and I'll say, Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. I never knew you. Can I preach to you? Amen. John chapter number four, after the lady at the well, Jesus said that. I love this, Josh. Amen. Hey, I'm going to get excited probably two more times. Everybody okay with that? Amen. I feel like I was staring at the big guy getting excited. Amen. Hey, listen to me this morning. Jesus stood right before the lady, amen, at the well who'd been married four times, amen, been a home wrecker once, amen, and it's like Jesus once. He stood before her after she got born again, Logan, and this is what he said while standing in front of her. Those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. He stood in front of a lady that was imperfect and said she's doing it right. Don't let the times tell you when you can praise and the situation. 
situations of life that when you can praise. But praise on anyway. Amen. Amen. All right. I got one. I go out. Or out. Can I bring us real honest and real humble for a minute? You still with me? Can you say amen? Amen. amen? Chase, this is something I do wonder. Elijah, Nancy was not the only one left. We've got two missionaries that we support. The Sosas are our missionaries too. Brazil. Brother Narcisco is our missionary to <coughs> Philippines. I don't know Sosa's all that well, but can I let you know something? I believe the Sosa's are doing it right. Yeah, yeah. I know Narcisco a little bit, and guess what? He's doing it right. Yeah. With a Bible in one hand and mashed potatoes in the other, he's doing it right. You know the only preachers left? We know the only ones left? Can I let you know? Down at Tabernacle, he's watching this and he'll love this. Down at Tabernacle Baptist, Orlando, Florida. Brother Steve Ware and Brother Marcus Seacrest. Down there and they've got a Christian school. They're doing it right. And I, I can I preach to you? Quit debating about quitting because it's not easy to do it right. Hey, can I preach to anybody? Chase, are you in your last one? Yeah, I am, buddy. Sure. I'll tell you when you need to get nervous. When doing it right becomes easy. You might need to start getting nervous. Boy, that went over like a second off. I'll give you a Bible verse, Hannah, that I've got trouble with. Proverbs will teach us this. Woe to the one that everyone speaks kindly of. Right. Yeah. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, this whole message has been pretty positive. Yeah. Let me put it in the ditch real quick. <laughs> when the drunkards are impressed instead of convicted. You're doing it wrong. One of the drug use. Well, you there? Yeah. One of the drug use know that you're a Christian, but they don't feel the need to come to Christ. You might be doing it wrong. One of those, and this will help us a little more, when those unthankful are around you and they don't feel the need to be thankful because of how you live your life, guess what? You're doing it wrong. Well, we just died. If you're still breathing, say amen. 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 I say this to you this morning. We ought to thank God. Jewel, we ought to thank God that He's given us the chance. Yes, sir. That ain't even the end of the sentence, Sidney, but I'll be able to say that right there. And everybody just look at God and say, God, I don't even know what He's going to say. But man, I want to thank Him for just giving me another chance. so hard. Let's spill the message. Can I pick on some of you for a minute? I've got folks I usually pick on nodding at me. I, everybody's okay to me pick on you for a minute. This hits me just about every time she's here. Brian and Jessica, I love you. You're my sis. You know this. Brian and Jessica have been through so much the past year. But I look up. And they all start singing, there's nothing greater than you. 
And I suggest you just wave down to God and say, all that stuff from my heart, there's nothing here to do. I just look at that and I go, what if there's something that's real? Chased after Jesus, written, and you all know what she said? 
I know I don't deserve it. I know I'm not worthy. But I need something. You know what I believe gratitude is this? I may never be somebody you write about in your Bible. I may never be somebody that's famous. But I'm going to chase that because I need something. Man that's born a four, brought the house, got a case of palsy. Needed something. Hey, get ready to help me if you don't care if we're done. I've been through my heart. I ain't going to lie, Jerry, I've got to warm myself out. I probably preached through two or three bodies just now. How many of you this morning, from your heart, need to give God real praise? About nine of us. Chase, don't act like that's condemnation. That is condemnation. How many of you have you has God done real things in your life? Then guess what he's worthy of? Real praise. Hey, I don't know what your stuff is. I know some of it because you, you, you're my people. I don't mean like my people, but you're my you might kind of people. I know some of your stuff. How many of you would admit this morning you need real help from real God? What if you could leave here knowing you had real help from a real God? Real forgiveness, real change. <coughs> hey, can I let you know? And I'm done. Hey, I thank you for hanging with me. I preached long, kind of like Thursday, a little long. If God's depending on you, are you going to turn and run? Or are you going to look at everything God's done for you and say, God, I'm ready for you? If Souls Harbor needs you, if your family needs you to live it, if, hey, you with me? If Souls Harbor needs you, has the church, your church, it could be Logan, it could be Robin, Pierce's, your church, has your church been good enough to you for you to be real for them? If your family needs you to be real. You want me? This is all we're called. This is where God deals with you. If there's anybody, I don't know what they're going to sing, but if God deserves real worship, God give it to them. If there's anybody here this morning, you need real help. Come to a real altar zone. Let's like stand with sing. God bless you. Once
family, my birth family, they Korean. And uh, I'm not going to lie, and, and we're not going to drag, we're gonna, we got blessings to pray with, we need to do that, we'll, we'll be done today, we've got announcements. Uh, hey, if we're going to take about six minutes or so, we'll be done in about six minutes. I need you for that whole six, are you with me? Uh, so we got some announcements, some things we need to go over. Uh, look, folks, I'm adaptable. And on top of that, I'm a big guy. So as long as there's food involved, don't really care how we eat it, what we do with it, just, or even what kind it is. <laughs> and my family, Faith is not like that. Faith is a germaphobe. <laughs> My family, Renee, they have this gigantic spread, kind of like we would, your families, whatever. But you, you usually got plates and spoons and all this stuff. Everybody's going to have their they individual setting, their individual plate, whatever. Koreans don't do that. You've got chopsticks and everybody deals out the same thing and then they feed everybody and then they feed themselves and then they put the chopsticks back in the community bowl and you just, just keep on and on and on and on. This didn't bother me at all. <laughs> it's good food. My mom just looked at me and she said, I'm going to feed you. And I went, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I've been all right with like baby bird, but it's been what it is. But Faith isn't like that. And I, I promise I probably watch Faith now. Six, seven, half Everybody big in the same community bowl and just looks at Faith and goes, Here! And she goes, <laughs> We got on the road and we were talking about it. And she said, she said, Honey, you're more adaptable to that because that's the blood flowing through your veins. I mean, Lord mercy, folks, if obesity is blowing through my veins. <laughs> But that was blood flowing through my veins. I didn't know. I didn't know about until this past weekend. Chase, what are you getting at? When I got saved, they, there was new blood flowing through my veins. Yeah. And this Jesus blood, this victory, this hope, this forgiveness, this peace I've got that's flowing through my veins. I'm confident. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah. I am real fine. Amen. Before we before we take care of some business, anybody got anything on the heart this morning? I said the B word and touched everybody. Uh, Bible school, vacation Bible school is July 22nd, 23rd, uh, Friday night and Saturday night, 6.30 to 8.30. Right now, <coughs> we have some that have made kind of like a half in, half out. Hey, if you need anybody to help, let me know. Okay, it's two weeks away. Yeah. We need that pencil to turn into a pen. If there's anybody in the house that would like to help with vacation Bible school, and I'm talking like today, well, Chase, let me go home and pray. Please pray. <laughs> you need to talk to Courtney. You need to talk to Kay. Just go to them. Chase, I don't know if the Lord's putting on my heart. Stop being the spirit. Um, also, on top of that, we need no age groups. So, if older age groups, and there's a possibility on us having some folks here from Ohio supposed to find out about that. Y'all remember Purdue, the youth group? Y'all remember them? There's a possibility of something being here supposed to find out today. But guess what? We, we can't help what Ohio does. But you know what we can do? We can help what we do. So if you're going to be here, if the kid's coming, you coming, you need to talk to Courtney Caitlin uh, as soon as church is over. Is that everything? The first Monday in August, I think it's the first, uh, way back in the day we had this thing called Men's Bible Study. Uh, that night, so we decided, Josh, is that 7? Is that what we looked at the other night? Well, we decided 6.30 or 7. Somewhere in that area. We'll get it penciled down for you. But need to be praying about those things. Yes, ma'am. Ladies Club is here at 6 30. So please remember that. All of us don't need to remember that. If you're a lady, you need to remember that. Uh, next Sunday, the Huffman family will be with us from down in Louisville, Kentucky. So please remember that. 
Aaron, Richard Aaron, and Miss Destine will be with us. Please remember. We've got some folks traveling this week. Pray for them. I'll be in a meeting uh, down in Lexington, Kentucky, with Brother Josh Dean. Pray for us if you don't care. Love and Robin, thrilled you're here. Just honored to be on honor. If you'd like to have them come back and say, Amen. 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 We want to hear you preach, but man, we love our singing. <laughs> so come back. That's, Chase, why would you say that? Because 98% of people say that with faith and eyes. Chase, you come back and preach, but we really want to hear you. They've been places that have actually must me up so you can't say <laughs> That's different. We thank God for you being here. My six minutes is up. If you want to take part in Bible school, it's a good thing, folks. You'll enjoy it. Be sure to talk to one of the sisters, Ms. Caitlin, and Ms. Corbin, please. If it's been a good morning, can you say amen? Amen. amen.